Fortunately, we got news two days ago, uh, was it yesterday, that a two-year-old boy had died from snake bite. So the Upper East Regional Minister, Hafiz Bin Sali, has promised to constitute a committee to investigate the death of a two-year-old boy who died of snake bite at the Wai Regional Hospital due to an alleged refusal of hospital officials to treat him because of folder issues. He said punitive action will be taken against persons found culpable in the death of the two-year-old boy pending the findings of the committee. The two-year-old boy, Ibrahim Shahid, died of snake bite after he was allegedly refused treatment due to the lack of folder when he was uh, referred uh, from the Boli uh, Chips compound in the Wa municipality on Saturday, leading to the death four hours after the referral. Meanwhile, the Wire Regional Hospital has begun investigations into the death of the two-year-old and um, after he was also denied uh, treatment by health officials. Information we've also gathered indicate that the family of the boy who, refused, who rushed him actually to the facility on Saturday after the snake bite said he was refused treatment by health officials who said they had, no, um, they had to locate his folder before they could give him any attention. The boy died some hours after that refusal and um, the, 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 the regional minister is saying that the committee probing the death includes a relative of the deceased to ensure transparency throughout the process. We are also told that a journalist has been added to that committee uh, so he would also help report on what exactly is happening. But the, the surprise for many is the fact that the child died from snake bite, just a snake bite. Of course, it's dangerous. So what do you do or how safe are we when we are bitten by snakes? We've been joined on the line by um, a health expert. We're talking about uh, uh, Mr. Isaac, Dr. Isaac Adumakuma. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you very much for joining us. Good afternoon. Um, to start with, we know that as an adult, we're told if you're bitten by a snake, be it on the leg or the arm, you tie a few inches above it while you seek first aid. So in, a in the case of a child, what is the immediate first aid that can be applied or given in this instance? Okay, thank you very much, Martin. Um, let me say a very good afternoon to you all. Yes. Hello, Mr. Adumakwa. Hello. Yes, uh, kindly re reposition yourself. We are unable, the, the line is cranking up. Okay. Hello. Hello. I think no. we'd, we'd have to recall, we'd, uh, we'd call you back um, shortly to try and help us with uh, at least some first aid regarding what we can do, uh, especially in, case of, in cases of children. But the unfortunate news is that a two-year-old uh, has died following what some have uh, said is negligence on the part of some medical staff uh, because they said the child didn't have a folder through which they can, uh, you know, get his medical records and give him treatment. What happened to first aid when someone is brought into the hospital? All the authorities we've spoken to say that there is almost always the need for first aid. Stabilize the person before you try and, you know, go after a folder or any other information. But this did not happen. And the two-year-old boy has died as a result of snake bite in 2019. Let's go back to the phone lines now. Isaac Adumakuma has joined us again. Good afternoon, if you can hear me. Good afternoon. Great, great, great. The line is better now. So you are telling us what, okay. what one can do uh, when it comes to a child bitten by a snake. All right. So like I, I was saying, snake bites, it's um, one of the priority diseases um, under the Ghana Health Service surveillance system. And when you look at globally, it's also one of the neglected tropical diseases. The signs and symptoms of um, snake bites be that in an adult or in a child, um, depends, usually depends on the species. So whether it's a cobra or it's a viper mm. and, and then some other species. But usually some of the common symptoms, I mean, depending on these species, could be bleeding. So excessive bleeding from the size of the bite. Right. Um, intense pain. There can be very intense pain. Numbness. I mean, where the, the bite, the, the, the skin around the bite, loose sensation is also one of the, the cardinal symptoms. Okay. Difficulty in breathing, that is, um, if the respiratory system is affected, the muscles of respiration is affected, um, individuals can also present with difficulty in breathing. I mean, if it advances without early treatment, um, 
it can affect the central nervous system, that is the brain and the spinal cord. It's, it's really present with what you call tosis, where the eyelid sort of closes, either partially or, 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 or droops down. Right. So what we can do, I mean, whether it's an adult or it's a child, you were saying, I mean, I think you give, um, you have an idea what the tying of, I mean, um, a cloth around a, a bit, um, few inches up where the bias is. The I mean, that is, that is good, but that also has its, its own um, implications. It is advised that usually the venom, especially the venomous snakes, um, when they bite, the venom gets into the blood and it ascends. So if, if the bite is on the leg, mm -hmm. it ascends up into the bloodstream and then can affect the heart or can affect the brain. Okay. So by time, if it is early, time sort of um, reduces the speed with which the venom can move up. But also, if it is left there, you know, there's a notion that people tie it and leave it there for a longer period. Mm. If that is done, um, it can also lead to ischemia. That blood flow also down to where the bite is can also be affected. Okay. So the best ad, um, practice is that tie it and then release it intermittently. Intermittently, okay. You tie it and then you release it intermittently and that, that helps. Okay. But uh, then the cardinal feature is that when somebody gets it, I mean, there's an on-site, there are about three levels of care. Okay. So there's the on-site care, which, I mean, we've talked about. That's the time, and that is the... Hello? Ah, very unfortunate. We seem to have lost um, Isaac Aduma Kuma um, there. But uh, clearly, the, this, is, this is an issue of concern. And so we would definitely find, um, find him, do a story on this, and then also as a way of educating the public on first aid or safety when there is, uh, in case of a snake bite or even a scorpion bite, because the venoms are probably all uh, aimed at doing harm or damage to you. But uh, when we do raise him back on the line, we'll put a few more questions to him.